antique mall. I guess you'd call it an antique co-op. Right, because there's a lot of different spaces and dealers. Right. And we're in um, Peabody, Mass, at a place called Pulaski Mills. And we're in a particular dealer. She's in the process of moving online, so everybody at home is going to be able to check her out, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, and we'll give you the information on that. But what Matthew and I were going to bring to your attention is when sometimes when you're shopping around, there's a lot of stuff. And one of my favorite things to look for is old artwork. I love old artwork. And it's such a great price, you know, and it's original and it's its own thing, you know. Right. If you, um, if you can find things, <clears throat> and you can find things from dealers or at flea markets and things, um, it's, it's a great price and uh, you have something original. You know, it's like something that no one else has. Right. Now this does have a price. If there's no price, don't be shy to ask. Just say, hey, how much is this? Um, this particular one does have a price tag of two twenty five, dollars and it's an original um, Looks like it's oil, but it's on a board and it's in this beautiful little frame. Can't beat it. And you can oftentimes look at the backside to tell the age of a piece. And what's nice is you can either, you know, you can paint the frames, you could take the piece out of the frame if you want. Um, and I like to buy all different size things and then figure out an arrangement on the wall um, after I've purchased it. I, I, I find that I always can find a place for something that I really love. Yeah, and old landscapes. They go with everybody's style pretty much, don't you think? I think so, yeah. They're elegant, but they're approachable, they're casual, good for the country house, good for the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. Um, and then you'll see, a lot of times you'll, you'll be able to see the ones that are just on a canvas, they're not framed, and you can check the age by flipping it over. Don't be shy um, and ask questions. Look at that beautiful seascape up there. That's really nice. It's nice too to see and have all different types of paintings, all different styles, and all different um, materials. You know, it makes your wall collage very interesting and more tactile. Right. And this dealer, um, her name's Jody. she's put these all together, and when you see them all together, you think, oh boy, I'd love to do my, you know, my study in that, or my hallway. Um, one great painting in a bathroom. Well, and this is nice because they're all on easels, um, so you can, you know, you can do your hall table as opposed to always hanging something on a wall, which, yeah, good which gives it a different, um, a different look and effect. Well, today we also have a special treat because we have our artist friend here, and her name's Ellen McHale, and you might have seen her in some of Matthew's magazines, but we're going to invite Ellen in to join us and say what catches her eye when we're out antiquing. I'd like to come in now. Yeah, hi, hi Ellen. <laughs> hi. So when I'm out antiquing with my friends, um, I'm looking actually for beautiful little old frames that I can use for my own painting, paintings. Um, being an artist, um, I'm always looking for something that's interesting, um, vintage, antique, um, to show off a lot of my paintings. I mean, I love every single painting that we have here, but when you're looking for something to set off the beautiful things that you do, um, there's nothing so what better about than the these. unusual size or the depth do I you... think it's much more fun actually to have something that's a little bit more unusual you know but I mean do you build your canvas that size or do you do boards or... I can do both um, so if I'm doing a little work on paper mm -hmm. I can make it work to fit something that's really interesting um, sometimes the frame will actually dictate what I want to right. um, Paint. Right. like that's like, a pretty this is gorgeous that's like a, take a peek uh, at that a blue painted finish Lots of patina. Have Lots you heard of that word? And mm -hmm. people love to use that. Super word. beautiful. And <laughs> the, the dealer here, Jody, is um, actually going to be using these herself to get creative and um, make some beautiful frames and make some beautiful paintings with them. So, I'm well, right. and that's, I think, a good point. You can get these um, frames for very little money. Absolutely. You can paint them, distress them, right. gold leaf them. Right. You can do almost anything with them. Sometimes I think it's nice to have a collection of just empty frames oh, hanging absolutely. on the wall because of all the textures and, and designs. Mm -hmm. um, but they really are a great, uh, a great value. Now here's one that was actually made in Italy. It's a print, um, but the gilded frame, the matting, the way the back's finished, you can see the age with the little clasp there that they attach. That's just a beautiful little painting that Gorgeous. would um, finish off maybe a grouping that you might have. And it's only $25. So that's your tip. Keep your eyes open. Buy original art. It's so much, has so much more soul. Right. right. 
And they always say art doesn't have to go with anything in your house. You just have to love it. So good that's, tip. That's great. I like that. All right, Ellen. Hello. I hear you squealing with joy over here. What did you find? Well, I found. I'm always looking for something unique from mm -hmm. the get-go. Um, something that um, I haven't okay. seen anywhere before. Um, I found this great little vase. See that. Take a peek. Take a look inside. That's what makes me happy. I like it See crusty that. and crumbly. And you can tell that it's an, got some age to it's it. It's got some age. It's a handmade piece. If you look at the bottom, the maker's initials are there, HLR, I think it says. Um, you know I what? love the colors of that. Isn't it beautiful? And, yeah. And it actually bird. reminds me of one of my paintings, and I think that's why I gravitated toward it. Um, we think it's a piece maybe from the 40s or the 50s. Yeah. Um, clearly, it's it's handmade. So did you ask the dealer I to did. give you a little background Jody. info? She found it in a house in Marblehead, mm -hmm. I believe, um, on a shelf tucked away. Um, clearly made with love so what by will somebody. you do with, with it will so for you... me I may just like sit on a mantle um, yeah put a pot of I ivy put, I may put a little something like some moss or something yeah. like that in it um, but to me it's just happy just the way it is and to me it's a piece of art I right. love this so these um, little cash pose can can hide like a cyclamen that you get at oh, the supermarket real, or fill it up with paintbrushes or paintbrushes would be gorgeous how about just a so big pot like full of moss i mean just yes. something completely simple um or just sit it on your table or on your I mantle know, i love that um that painterly look about it absolutely and that's what i think i gravitated to you know we were just talking about right. paintings and um and we were talking about how paintings don't have to be just on the wall paintings can be anywhere Paintings can be something, a piece of yeah, art like this. Exactly. Um, three-dimensional Three-dimensional artwork, artwork um, painted right. with love yeah. by somebody else. Well, I love it because it kind of has this French classical yes. feel to it, but right. then it's very country. Right. Because it has, yeah. you and know. A little, but, but it has a little contemporary vibe, too, at right. the same time. But it's the handmade vibe. It's the that you know, touch by an artist's to. hand that is what I absolutely love. Um, so this is going home with me. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, Ellen. What Can did I, you get? Yeah, I can't wait to show you. I shop without knowing what I want, and I think that's the best way to shop, don't you? Right, I love because that. Because when something catches your eye, you hope she's not going to say it's a million dollars. Right. And I found this little brass lantern, and why I love it is it has the etched um, glass panels oh, beautiful. with beveling, and you can put a candle in it. So. I think it's really going to be pretty out in the courtyard during the summer. Oh, absolutely. Um, and she said it was $32. And is it heavy? No, not really. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hollow brass, but... Well made. It's probably not the oldest thing in the world, but I think it's really pretty, so I'm happy with it. I'm glad you are. That's fantastic. Hey, Matthew, what's going on? Well, today, I'm with you and Ellen. Yeah. Uh, we're out shopping at Pulaski Mills in Peabody, Mass., it's a really great place, lots of floors of different uh, antiques. And, and I came across these great glass domes. Um, a lot of times they were used for like really precious clocks. And they were used for clocks because the dome would keep any dust out of the mechanism and um, would keep them clean and, and running for a long time. But now they've kind of been repurposed for all kinds of things. A lot of people use them for uh, taxidermy or if they want to show off a wonderful old piece of pottery or something that they really want to feature right and um, they're um, they're kind of easy to come by in the sense of they've been reproduced but these are old ones and that's the kind of thing that I really like a lot. Look. That is an enormous one. Yes and that's got a beautiful um, it's kind of like a what's it, I guess, but it's it's uh, it's uh, some kind of item made out of horn, and uh, I think it's all attached together. Hmm. So it's quite interesting, and it has some some and, etching on it as well. And this is a great idea. They put a piece of fabric to set that off. Yeah, that's green silk, and uh, yeah, it does. It gives it an, a nice little um, pop of color. And here's a smaller version. all of a version. sudden, it's worth twice as much just because it's under a cloche. 
Well, and I think it just makes it a little more special. You know it's an item that you're trying to feature. And so what are you going to do off. with this little one? Well, I like to put special pieces of pottery mm -hmm. things underneath. Um, but you could put shells or you can put all kinds of natural items or objects um, or even, you know, sculpture. This is a wonderful old piece of uh, Wedgwood and it has uh, a maple leaf and some berries on it. And we can just put that right under. And this has a beautiful piece of gray velvet. Oh, on the nice. inside and then you just top it with the cloche and you could do you know a, a whole table filled with different cloches with different favorite items and collectibles and it becomes like a, a continual um, place where you can curate all kinds of special objects that you really want to show off. It's almost like a living display right S and, go and, to the seasons and the things that you that what, what really unifies the whole um, display is these glass domes mm -hmm. so they're a really great thing to look for when you're you're out shopping at a at an antique shop just like this yeah i love them so this is all jody yeah it's all they for the most part it's in front of each shop if you kind of know it's, it's, it's just the overflow yeah. from <laughs> the shop just in and the place is literally littered with antiques and vintage finds. I mean, the oars, marble, vintage iron furniture, and plant stands, and these things are really amazing. How about these things? Aren't these incredible? I love them. And then this uh, amazing pair.